Hello and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today, the Clone Trooper, one six scale figure by Hot Toys. From Star Wars, Episode Two, Attack of the Clones. The slip cover removes to reveal the sturdy box celebrating the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. Inside, the figure and accessories come in one tray. Here are all the pieces displayed for a closer look. The Clone Trooper here in the center, a Phase Two helmet, a wearable backpack, a DC-15A blaster rifle, a DC-15S blaster carbine, and the RPS-6 rocket launcher, along with an assortment of extra hands and a figure stand and base. Each of the two helmets is comprised of multiple pieces to maximize the detail. The T-shaped visor of the Phase 1 and the Phase 2 helmet are glossy and pop next to the bright white of the armor. The Phase 1 helmet comes to a point with a hint of color on the back of the crest with a gray accent stripe around the back sides. The Phase 2 helmet has a rounded top fin, now with an upgraded and familiar looking dual breath filter. The bits of color on the Phase 2 helmet are the blue hash marks that run down the sides of the aerator. The shoulder, chest, arm, and leg armor are all over a black cloth bodysuit. Around the waist made of a softer rubber is a detailed utility belt that can also be moved. From the top of the helmet down to the boots, the armor's been weathered in browns and dull blacks. It advances more and more as it works downward, the heaviest being on the shins and the boots. A double ball joint at the neck allows us to turn the head from side to side, lean it in either direction, and the secondary articulation point allows us to drop the head far forward and extend it backward. The shoulder is a butterfly joint and allows us to move the arm forward and row back. The shoulder armor is on an elastic strap that can be moved out of the way and we can extend the arm straight out to the side 90 degrees. The arm can lift forward slightly past 90 and move backward. A double jointed elbow, a cut bicep lets us move the arm in and out, and a traditional wrist peg. The leg joints are on a ratchet system. The leg can kick out to the side a full 90 degrees. It can extend forward 45, and it can also go backward. The thigh can rotate in or out. The knee is double jointed and can be moved slightly past 90 degrees. The ball jointed ankle lets us lift and lower the foot, turn it from side to side, and rock in or out. The backpack has two leather straps that go over the shoulders by moving the arm backward and working the pack into place. The bottom of the pack is hard shelled with the Imperial emblem right on the front. The top is a soft cover made in a cream colored cotton. The three weapons have all been given a dry brushing of silver to age them and to show their field use. A DC-15S blaster carbine, standard issue for all clone troopers a DC-15A blaster rifle, and an RPS-6 rocket launcher. The extra hands can be used in unison to hold and support the blaster rifle as well as the rocket launcher. The base evokes the deck of a starship with a subtle wash over the top and a chrome nameplate on the front. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Clone Trooper 1-6 scale figure by Hot Toys from Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. For more information about this figure and more in the 20th anniversary Attack of the Clones line, follow the link below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek sideshow.